Nanjun Urban Planning Center in the ancient namesake water town of Wuzhou was designed by architect Cui Kai and his associates. The architecture itself not only blends into the ecological environment and natural landscape seamlessly, it also reflects the rich culture of the city and region known as the South Bank of Yangtze River historically. The exposed steel trusses and beams, interlaced by white cement board, reminiscent a perfect Chinese ink painting from millenniums ago, which is suddenly brought alive by the labyrinth of bamboo screens. Punch holes in the ceiling actually is the revival of an ancient Chinese technology to guide natural light indoors before modern technology of skylights arrived. There's overwhelming presence of bamboo components applied both indoors and outdoors, from screens, wainscoting to decking and soffits. The indoor bamboo tone not only warms up the visuals but also created a dim ambience which resembles the natural lighting conditions of the historical time. The outdoor screens are not only aesthetically pleasing but also designed specifically to absorb some of the sunlight from the glass panelings. These intricate screens are actually easy to install with modular compositions. By playing with these modules, customized dimensions, and geometrical arrangement, the architect single-handedly revitalized an ancient decorative plan from ink painting into a prolific modern building and finished material. It's safe to say that he didn't do it alone, because natural bamboo is not known for being tough enough as outdoor timber like hardwood. This engineer bamboo has been treated by a high-tech nano ceramic injection technology to protect its organic molecules from fungi, termite, and fire attack. As a result, its physical performances such as weather fastness, stability, and durability are strengthened too. This groundbreaking technology came from Dassault Group, based in Hangzhou, China, and Atlanta, USA.